Yes, then YouTube, we are back. 4-3-2-1 custom tactics. My personal favourite formation. And I'll say that about most formations on FIFA 23. But, there is a but. 4-3-2-1 for me is the formation you will see me use the majority of the time in FIFA 23. And the majority of pros do use the 4-3-2-1 as well. But, before we get started, guys. For your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Coins, please do check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use code WOLF at a checkout for 5% off your order. So we're back. 4-3-2-1. I'm on the road to glory as well because I get so many comments, by the way. Like, so many comments. Oh, you don't use your tactics on the road to glory. Anyone can get 20 and over your pay to win team. Uh, yeah. Uh, no shit. That's what I'm doing on the road to glory as well. Dumb idiots. So anyway, we're on the road to glory. 4-3-2-1. I absolutely love it. This is the Road to Glory team, by the way, in case any of you do ask what my Road to Glory team is saying. Yeah, I've done all the footballers that they're in. We do have a certain snake that we don't talk about that is in the team. But he is in. I do probably think Mason Mount's better than him, though. So, But yeah, anyway, you guys aren't here about the team. Let's get straight into the 4-3-2-1. So, they're not the tactics that you see on your screen. Balanced on the defensive style is correct, though. Yes, you do want balanced on the defensive style. I would say press after possession, loss, pressure on heavy touch, etc. They are good though. Like, believe you me, they really, 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 really are good and 100% a viable option, especially like pressure on heavy touch. The only issue that I ever have with like them type of things is I like to be in control of where and when my team presses. Like, I don't really like the fact that like sometimes on press after possession, loss, and pressure on heavy touch, my team presses. And I don't really want them to. So I like always using balance because a balanced style where your team presses the ball to the middle of the pitch and your team shape is neutral. Basically, I like to be in control of where and when my team presses. And if I want to press at a certain time, I will. If I don't, I won't, right? So that's why I use the balanced defensive style. The defensive width YouTube, 35. Yes, if you have watched some of my new recent videos, you would have seen me using the 35 width now. I really like it. I just always think the more narrow you are, the more compact you are, the harder you are to break down. Your opponent will really, really, really struggle to break you down when your team is nice and narrow, nice and compact. So because of that, 35 on the width works absolute wonders. One thing I will say though, YouTube, I think you can use anything from 30 to 50. Anything from that range. So if you want to use a bit of your own initiative, a 35 you don't like, you want to use, I don't know, 45. Like I always used to use 45 a hell of a lot and now I'm back to 30. Well, I'm back to 35. I'm now using 35 a lot more now. Use 45, like use my custom tactics YouTube as like a baseline of what you want to use. So yeah, I use 35 or you can just copy them exactly how I played them because I don't lie on my tactics videos. So yeah, 35 on the width, not 70 depth anymore YouTube. No, you would have known I now play 55 depth. I like it. I was just noticing as the game's going on and the power curve's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, I was noticing that the... The 70 depth, I was just getting caught out at the back way, way, way too much, really. I, I was just constantly getting through ball over the top. Even for as good as player as I am, I was just getting through ball way, way, way too much. So I thought, well, if I'm doing that, I dread to think what well, you guys are like that are uh, a lot lower level than me in terms of like if you're in Div 3, Div 4 rather than Elite. I thought, man, you must be getting cooked as well, right? So I lowered it down to 55. It works. It works absolute wonders. It's something that I really enjoy. The 35-55 combo at the minute. Very, very, very OP. The two offense YouTube, yes. I mean, like, is it ever going to change? I don't know. I can sit here and lie to you and say, oh, yeah, use fast build up and fucking possession. Don't use that. It's shit. Okay. Balance the direct passing. That is your way to go. That is your bread and butter on FIFA 23. One thing I will say, though, actually, long ball. Long ball is definitely a viable option and definitely an option that you could use. One trillion, million, billion percent. Long ball can be used and it will probably work as well a lot of the time. So if you ever do want to use long ball, you can give it a go. But if you use long ball, you use balance instead of direct passing in my opinion. But me, my bread and butter, balanced and direct passing. My offensive width is 45. I haven't really changed too far away from that. Anywhere between 40 and 50 is a good light, is a good light baseline. 45 works for me. I like where the left forward and the right forward are without really having to change too much of that. So, 45. I like it. It's a little more narrow. Closer to the strikers. It works. Players in the box, 6. I used to always play 7, but not anymore, man. 6 just works. Absolute wonders for me. It's so, so, so good. I like having my three strikers all in the box and then my midfielders will be waiting on the edge of the box. I like that. I do. I really, 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 really like that. Okay, so I use 6 players in the box. 
two corners and two free kicks. So, tactics done. Play set up. Now you want to know what playing instructions you use. This, by the way, has actually never really changed. Really. Like, when I think about it, this has never really changed from any of my 4 3 2 one custom tactics videos. So, I have both my striker and my right forward on getting behind. Because, basically, we defend in a 4-4-2, but then we attack in a 4-3-2-1 with one of the fullbacks overlapping. That's how I've always played the 4-3-2-1. It's what gives me great success with the 4-3-2-1. And because of that, I stick with it. I do try different things, but it never really works the same. So, both my striker and my right forward are on getting behind. By the way, YouTube, you can flip this as well. If you want the opposite side to me, like you can flip it. Just as long as you have the same settings, but on the other side, you can flip which side you want to attack down. So, yeah. I have my striker and my right forward on just getting behind. That is it. So, they're the two strikers when we're defending in a 4-4-2. The left forward is on completely default settings, but also come back on defence. Because Ribri will then go to like the left mid and we defend in a 4-4-2. But then as soon as we get the ball, Ribri will push up a bomb on into that left forward position. It's why the 4-3-2-1 is very, very, very OP this year. Because I'm noticing a pattern, really. If you can defend in different formations that you attack with, they're very OP because you can defend in formations that are defensively solid, like a 4-4-2, a 5 at the back. And then when you get the ball, your players bomb on into the formation that they're meant to be in when they're attacking. So it's actually really, really, really OP. So the left forward for me is on comeback on defence. Again, if you want to flip that and have your right forward on comeback on defence, you can, just as long as one of them's on comeback on defence. I play with my left centre mid. So my left side of the pitch is the, the pitch that I attack down with. So... Get into the box for cross and cover centre on my left centre mid with Maduke. My middle centre mid, he plays as like a CDM. So Douglas Louise will be like the CDM type. So he is on stay back while attacking. Oh my god. Stay back while attacking and cover centre. He will drop deep. I was trying like drop between defenders, but it was just a little too deep, really. That was a little, something that I have been trying over the last couple of days, actually, was drop between defenders. But I didn't really enjoy it as much as what I like. I like the centre mid to be dropping a little bit, but not right on the centre backs, basically. Excuse me, my right centre mid, and this is the player that will be the right mid of the 4-4-2 when defending. He is on completely default settings, but then cover wing because, of course, he will play right mid when we're defending. So, imagine Ribery dropping dropping in on this left-hand side to a four in the midfield, and then Eto and Omri as your two strikers. Then, as soon as you get the ball, Ribery will bomb on. Maduke will bomb on as well, and you'll attack in the 4 3 2 one. I then play with my right back on stay back while attacking, and then my left back on join the attack and overlap, and then comes for crosses and sweeper keeper on the goalkeeper. But again, if you want to flip that, you can. It makes no issues with me. So, yeah, that is my updated 4 3 2 one custom tactics video for you guys. If you did enjoy this video, please, please, please drop a like on the video for me, drop a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button to my channel. That would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching, guys. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA, positive male attitude. Peace out. One love.